Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at a couple of new lights from Army Tech. Two different versions of the Viking. So we have the Viking X, Viking S. So the difference between these two is the Viking X is using that Cree XML LED, Viking S is using an XPG LED. And you'll see what those two different LEDs do when we take these outside. So we're going to open this one up, show you what you get on the inside. Here's the light in the holster. We'll come back to that. Nice lanyard that you get. Here's a pocket clip and a couple other things in here. You have a uh, spare boot cover tail cap. That's what this is, some spare O-rings. We'll pull the pocket clip out if I can manage to extricate it from all the rest of the stuff. And then this right here, I'll show you what this does here in just a second as well. So, we'll pull the light out, pocket clip, just slides on there. Uh, it actually slides in this area right here. What you do is if you just remove the tail cap, do, 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 remove that, then you can remove this as well. And the pocket clip will slide right onto there, or you can put it down lower, wherever you prefer it. But it pops on there. You can see it wasn't the easiest thing to get on in the world, so it's on there nice and securely. And then you can take Make sure your O-rings are seated properly. I managed to pop them out a little bit. But then you can take and just put your tail cap back on. And then the purpose of this ring right here is if you didn't want uh, either one of the combat grip ring on there or the pocket clip, you could use this and just cover up that flat area. Not necessarily, you don't necessarily need any of that, but uh, just a way to make it look nicer. Keep all the gaps closed and all that kind of stuff. So let's see if we can Get this thing off of here. <laughs> it's on there really, really securely. All right, there you go. So we got that off. We're gonna put the combat grip ring back on there. So if you ever wonder what these are for, it's uh, usually people use them in conjunction with a handgun. So if you wanna use it for self-defense or personal defense or anything like that, or if you're law enforcement, it's just to give you a little bit easier grip on the light so you can hold it in the various different grips. It makes it a little bit easier to hold on to it. So that's the purpose of that guy. So it comes default with that on there. So pocket clip, way to cover up that gap. That's the other stuff that it comes with. So the holster, you saw it when I first had it. You can put it in there, either bezel down or tail cap down, whichever you prefer. But either way, you take, you've got the hook and loop closure over the top. Pretty high quality holster, holster nice nylon holster. Covers up the bottom covers up the top. On the back you have a button and hook and loop that holds this flap in really securely. So you can use that to attach to your pack or belt or wherever else you want to attach it. Loop on the top. Pretty standard holster but uh, they did a good job with it. It's a nice one. So that is the Viking X. This is the one using the XML LED. We'll show you the difference in the LEDs better here in just a second. Viking S, same exact stuff using the XPG LED so we're just gonna pull the light out and put all the rest of the stuff to the side since again that is all the same stuff and I just dropped the Predator on the ground <laughs> all right so this is the Army Tech Predator this was their first light that they came out with the Vikings as you can see a little bit different not radically so the biggest difference between these is that the uh, these versions have the crenulated bezel on there, the Predators, which you can get it without it as well, where the Vikings come with the flat bezel. A little bit different aesthetic differences, so you can see some minor machining differences, but uh, for the most part, they're really similar lights. The big difference comes in the interface of these. So the Predator, really, really advanced light. We're gonna go and set it back to the side. Really programmable, all kinds of customization in there. Pretty crazy the amount of stuff that you could do. But people were kind of intimidated by that, so people that wanted a simpler light, the answer was the Viking. So there you can see the LEDs down in there. Big, huge, smooth reflector, so these give you a really nice throw. XPG here on the left, XML on the right. You can see the difference in the size of the LEDs. So considering that they have the same size heads, same size reflectors and all that, the XML is going to give you more of a floody beam, although it is still going to give you a pretty decent amount of throw. So really concentrated beam on the XPG just like the uh, the Predator had. So uh, if you're interested in that one, check out that video. But we'll zoom back out. Actually, 
Let me show you these up close a little bit better. So you can see these without the Predator next to it. Nice matte black finish on these. I really like it. Uh, it's non-reflective. There you can see the reflector and the LED again. Here you have that bezel. And I believe this is actually stainless steel. I want to say it's Thai nitride coated uh, stainless steel. But whatever it is, it's a, it's a harder material than the rest of the body, the aluminum body. So it holds up really well. If you happen to drop it on its bezel, it's going to hold up better than just the bare aluminum. So here's the switch on the back. There's that combat grip ring again. That other ring. Some marking on the side. So you have the name of the company, some information about it, and of course the model number. And the same thing on the other version of the Viking. It just has that different LED. Alright, so let's stick batteries in here. Show you how these things work. And you can open it up at either the tail or the head, whichever you prefer. You just saw me open it up at the tail earlier. whole lot of threads on these. <laughs> so it takes a little while to get it unscrewed. But you can see down in there, one, one of the things I get asked a lot is like the cheap flashlights you can get on Amazon or eBay for 20 or 30 bucks. What's the big difference between the high quality lights like an Army Tech or Olight or something like that uh, and uh, those cheap lights? Well, the biggest thing is if you open up on the inside, the differences become really apparent. You're going to see some really dirty solder on the inside of those lights. Um, just not very well constructed on the insides. But you can see this light, I mean, it's flawless even on the inside. So the outside looks fantastic, inside looks fantastic. So anywhere you have electrical contacts or anything like that, they're nice and clean. They're going to be really durable. You're not going to have any problems with longevity or anything like that, where you are going to have problems with the durability and longevity on the cheaper lights a lot of times. So a little bit of a, a tangent, but I uh, wanted to get that out there real quick. So the batteries, we have some Eagle Tac 3100 milliamp 18650s. It'll take either 18650s or two CR123s. If you use the light a lot, I definitely recommend 18650s because you go through a couple of the uh, changes of the CR123s and you've paid for an 18650. And the Eagle Tacs are some of the best ones out that we found, especially for the price. I'm losing all my hand-eye coordination tonight. All right, let's zoom back out and I'll show you the interface on this. So again, the Predator, pretty complicated light, lots of customization in it. The Viking, they wanted to have a simpler version of that. So when the head is tightened, you hit that tail switch, lightly press it, you have momentary, click it all the way for constant on. And while the head is tightened, it's just going to be that max output. Now it has two lines. They call it line one and line two. So line one is when the head is tightened. Line two is when you loosen the head. That's where you get your other modes. And you can see, unlike the Predator, it doesn't have any flashy modes or anything like that. It just has the max output when the head is tightened, head is loosened, has three other outputs. And it will actually memorize the last one that you had it on in. So if we turn it on and it has it in that low output, we tighten the head, loosen the head again, it's going to go back into that low output, turn it off, leave it off for a few seconds, and then turn it back on, it's going to be back in that low output. Actually looks like it didn't wait long enough because <laughs> it went into the medium. So it's, it's a few seconds, so we'll leave it on and then turn it off, wait a few seconds, we'll talk for a second, and then uh, when we turn it back on, it should be in back in the low mode. And it'll remember that as long as you don't quickly cycle through. So you can see when I turn it back on, it goes back into the low instead of the next, the medium. So same exact interface on the Viking X. It just has that larger LED, so it's going to be more of a floody beam, and that'll be a lot more apparent when we take them outside and shine them around outside. But we're going to take another charged Eagle Tech 18650, Go ahead and put the tail cap back on there. And just to show you the interface again real quick. Head tightened, max output, loosen the head. Your line two, you have your other three outputs that you can choose between. So there you go. That's the Viking X and the Viking S from Army Tech. We're going to go ahead and take both of these outside and we will take the Predator as well. Just so you can see how they all compare to each other. So let's go ahead and go do that. Here are the three Army Techs. Got the big 40 mag light. Let's try out the mag light first. A little bush at 15 feet. Tree out there at 100 feet. Zoom in on that so you can see it a little bit better. I can manage to hold the mag light without dropping it. <laughs> I have too much stuff in my hands. Okay, so just as a baseline, since if you've seen the Predator video, you know how that does. We're going to use it as a baseline real quick. You can see very focused beam, but still decent amount of spill. So spill is the area around the hot spot, bright part in the center, that's the hot spot. Very focused beam, obviously out at 100 feet, absolutely no problem with this light, lights it up extremely well. 
So let's try out the other two lights. Let me turn on my headlamp real quick so I can figure out which is which. Okay, here's the Viking S. So you can see, pretty similar beam to what you saw at the Predator. Really tightly focused. Still, decent amount of spill. Area around the hot spot, not too bad. But it's still, it's relatively focused in terms of the spill. So it's not gonna light up everything in front of you like a lot of lights will, but you can see the kind of distance you can get out of this. Actually, we'll show you that even better here in just a second. So that's the Viking S. Actually, let me show you the lower outputs on it real quick. I'm gonna take it and drop it down. You can see up close. Great for doing up close kind of stuff. That's the lowest output. And then, yeah, the couple other outputs as well. All right, so that's the Viking S. Let's try the Viking X. There you can see. So XML LED versus the XPG, much wider area of illumination. So you get a much larger hot spot there in the center. You can light up a wider area once, and when you get out to a distance, it becomes even more apparent because as you get out further, of course, it's going to light up more at once because the beam can spread out even more. So we'll do them side by side real quick, just so you can see. It's going to be the X on the left, S on the right. So you can see brighter in terms of the hot spot or the center part of it on the S, but a much wider hot spot on the X. All right, let's try it a longer distance. Okay, so you saw that the Predator has pretty much the same beam as the uh, the Viking S, so we're just gonna use the two Vikings for this part of the video. Got a little bit more distance to work with. I'm gonna go and try out the 40 mag light. There's my house, top of my house, at about 50 yards. Tree in the front yard at 100 yards. Doesn't really make it out to the tree. Let's try the Viking S first. So there you can see, really concentrated light. You can see how great the throw is on this. Top of that tree, over 100 yards away, lit up really, really well. Can do further than that, no problem. We'll shine it around a little bit, see how it does with different colors and everything. But uh, looks like I have the white balance on my camera a little off. It's not quite as blue as it looks in the picture. It's definitely more of a, of a pure white. All right, so that's the Viking S. Let's try out the Viking X, see how it does. Still great throw on this. We'll zoom into the top of the tree. Still lit up extremely well but a wider area of illumination. So you're gonna be able to light up more at once, which is kind of nice. I personally prefer the XML LEDs, but I definitely see the utility of the XPG LEDs because you can see how much more focused they are and concentrated they are. So that's the S on the left, X on the right. I'll shine it across different areas and everything so you can see how they compare. All right, so there you go. Those are the two new Army Tech Vikings, the S and the X. If you like them, you can buy them from us at goinggear.com. Any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. If you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We put out a lot of flashlight and other gear videos. Thanks for watching.